important question is when you put your list of milestones together what do you include we said it should be everything you should make sure that you cover all areas of the business let's just discuss that in a little more detail so we have a a complete sense of when the list is there and you look back do you say do I have everything covered it's kind of like a checklist on your checklist if you will planning and startup the first thing to mention and this is in the Harvard Business Review article that I've suggested that you take a look at uh, McGrath and uh, and Macmillan it talks about venture milestone planning there's a conceptual design you need to start be thinking in your planning process about what is the product what is the market how are you thinking about this and begin to be thinking on paper for others to react to and, and build upon what your idea of the business is what are your conceptual expectations for the business and so you're essentially validating the ideas with others before you jump right in and start opening your doors of a new business you might as well check the ideas out and that's what this sort of planning startup idea is developing a executive summary or a business idea an elevator pitch um, you can talk to people about it as a possible business idea then and so you want to have some thoughts there that you're not just on your own you haven't just thought of this you've actually explored it and improved it and every time you get comments you bake them into the next round and you start building on your conceptual development your conceptual plan then you do a de product development phase where you actually decide what the product is going to look like you try to this, de develop some sort of a sense of the features and the functions of the product you might hire developers and develop put a prototype prototype together it doesn't have to work behind the scenes but it does have to have the essentially the, re the response of the end user so the end user can see what it is you're going to be offering and they can respond with yes I would buy that or no I wouldn't buy that so you're developing a prototype potentially you're developing some software you're developing um, maybe if it's a restaurant you give the look and feel of what the restaurant is like you don't necessarily have all the bells and whistles you can be cooking it in a different kitchen whatever but you want people to think they're experiencing your product or service so they can respond to you honestly and look look forward to that and as you go forward with your product and service there's improvements and changes and modifications so you want some milestones to take your product from the prototype all the way to production and beyond and again some of these are mentioned in that uh, that good Harvard Business Review article marketing and sales you have to do some sort of a market test you want to alpha test the market beta test the market then you want to have real market explorations with your product bring in third parties that can help respond to or provide endorsements for your product or you might have a significant sales levels you want to achieve a uh, thousand customers a hundred thousand customers uh, ten ten thousand or ten a hundred thousand in sales in a month or in a quarter or something like that that shows that you have indeed established and developed your market in your market space and then you might want to take into account price changes that you might have to have to have as you reach beyond your initial customers that maybe are willing to pay a certain price but as competitors start to respond to you you might have to make some adjustment to pricing so there's those kinds of things that you include as well as you're going as you're thinking about what sorts of milestones so so far we've had products we've had markets uh, we've had startup you also have to have your operations you got to make sure that it's clear you know what locations you need what assets you need what people you need what skills what knowledge what contracts what suppliers and you put contracts together like that for putting your story together In case of an example here we have an application you might have an agreement with an Android developer with research in motion the Blackberry people um, Apple uh, or some subset of them and you might want to say you need computer customer satisfaction at a certain level you have good quality and all those kinds of standards then you want some business performance objectives you close a financing you've reached a certain level of sales you've reached a certain level of profit you've maybe broke even on cash flow 
you've reached a critical mass where you have enough customers, enough sales, enough profits that you can fund your operations and continue to invest in your growth. So these are some of the business performance milestones that you would include. And then strategically, you might have won over some customers. Um, you, you might have re re continuing customers, ones that show up again and again. So you have repeat customers or subscribers. Uh, you might have competitors and you want to show that you can respond with your pricing to what a competitor might come in and charge for you. Or you might want to protect your intellectual property by having a patent granted or, in, or to have, have some sort of a uh, trademark that is accepted um, and those sorts of things that allow you to protect your strategic positioning. So you want to have milestones that cover the gambit of all of these areas. That's the key, once again, to sort of summarize all of these pieces and say that once you have a good milestone that's clear and focused and all of that, then you put them into this complete set of milestones that together describe all the things that have to happen for you to look back once they're checked off and say, we indeed have a successful business. So we know all about the milestones individually and also in collectively. In the next video, we'll talk about how one looks at milestones in a business plan, how an investor might look or a partner might look for and raise flags or be really quite satisfied with what those milestones are. And in the next video, we'll also give you an example of a list of milestones for a possible startup venture. So we'll do that in the next video.